Folks, welcome to the show, Jack Chow with the East West Show on G and E TV. Ah, uh, yes, with the coming Chinese American Film Festival, which is the uh, celebrating the 11th anniversary, the submissions are getting uh, more and more. Till today, we're still getting submissions, and among the submissions, lots of uh, wonderful films and. Uh, well, mm, they are, I would say, making a re making record so far already. Uh, among those wonderful filmmakers, uh, I call them film people, um, artists, film artists, is my friend that I proudly present, a close friend, a very close friend, a brother kind of friend, Mr. Chris Nibby. Welcome to the show. I was, I was waiting. I was waiting for you for a, for a second to respond. Okay, very good. Uh, good. He can speak Chinese, right? He is very fluent in Chinese. <laughs> meow, meow, I wish. <laughs> I wish. Okay, good. Um, Mr. Chris Newby uh, is a wonderful individual. He is not only talented with the whole concept of film. He has a uh, special, unique. I call it a unique take of uh, justice. So uh, with the, uh, ma if we go many years, starting first to his uh, number one, which is number one film of his uh, in entire series of uh, Mysterious China, there are 16 of them, I believe, or 17 of 17. them. 17. 17 of them, I believe. <laughs> you will find <laughs> he's a person that starts going his own way Despite of whatever you say, he'll find his own way to bring it back to people. Okay, this is the way I see the world. This is the way I have found the things about the world. Am I right to give you a definition about your efforts? I'm trying to do so. All right, yes. very good. So why don't I give you the introduction, I mean the, the time of introduction, about your Mysterious China series, please. We're not talking about one film, not talking about two films, we're talking about your whole series, please. Yeah, it started that I was invited by Yunnan TV to mm -hmm. look at their documentaries and see if we could cut together something. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was the beginning. And uh, I was, of course, very interested because the media, Western mm -hmm. media, is mm -hmm. so biased about China. And they don't realize that uh, while China has a lot of problems as a developing nation, it has an epic cultural heritage and a beauty mm. which has survived the turmoil of the 20th century mm -hmm. and the 19th century. Mm -hmm. So I felt that there was not enough to be seen about the beauty of China and the positive aspects. Mm -hmm. And I was even a surprised that actually also the Chinese media isn't doing uh, what they should do mm -hmm. to reach okay the Western taste. Uh, mm. There is unfortunately a big uh, rift between Western taste, mm. what Western people like, mm. or what they should be, uh, be introduced to, mm. and the Chinese don't know that. Uh, because, for example, the Dayu Island film mm. uh, should have been a film made in China, not mm. made by me. <laughs> and, uh, All right. Or even, even Do you think it's better made by you? I mean, to the issue itself. I don't know. At least it's a mm -hmm. third-party issue, and uh, it's a very honest appraisal of the fact that uh, mm. American geopolitics are unfortunately not what they should be. I see, I see. All right. And uh, to clarify with my audience, in case you, for the first time, see my friend, Mr. Chris Nibby, a wonderful individual, I respect 100%, um, if not Thank 110. You. If you buy me a cup of beer, I do 120, like okay, that kind. I'll buy you two. Oh, well, two, and yeah. then all right, 120%, I respect. Yeah. Because uh, not only his talent, but his take. His, uh, some people call it the political take. I call it the human take, uh, a take of humanity. 
that kind of thing, right? Mm -hmm. For yeah. that as a point which I try to make it clear to my audiences, may I ask you something personal, please? To find, to find out, just in order to find where you stand, mm -hmm. right? Are you a Chinese citizen? No. Okay. Are I'm you an, an American citizen? citizen? No. All right. And whose citizen I are am you? I'm a German citizen. You're a German citizen? Yes. Okay, now this is number one. Were you born in China or in the United States? No. Or I was born in the eastern part of Germany. Eastern part of Germany. Yes. All right. The, uh, the most uh, troubled part of Germany. All right. It is, yeah. now, uh, it is now, as a matter of fact, it's, it's now Poland. I see, I see. At, at least one we can say that you were born at the time when the wall was still there. Right. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, yes, very yes. good, right? Okay, for somebody who comes from, uh, from Germany, all right, to all the way get into America, um, America to get involved in the issue that is so controversial, right? And about China, about the take of Western media, the take of uh, China, Chinese media, to create his own take, right? That's quite an effort, quite a, quite quite a way to go. Yeah. That is the part that amazed me, right? That amazed me. That's why I check with you first about your status if you if you are Chinese citizen because you sound like a Chinese citizen, and then you're you may sound like an American citizen. You are none, right? Okay, now. In the series, though, I know you started the first one. If I recall right, was Dali, right? No, the first one was Marco Polo Shangri-La. Oh, Marco that Polo Shangri-La. In Yunnan. Mm -hmm. The second was one was Marco Polo Silk Road, which uh -huh. actually should have been called Marco Polo T Road, mm -hmm. but the T Road was part of the Silk, what is today called the Silk Road's mm -hmm. uh, communication system. The northern part was a silk road, mm. the southern uh -huh. part was a tea road. All right, see, I choose right. to call it tea road, a silk road because the foreigners don't know about the tea road. The next one I made in Shanghai, it was called Marco Polo's Roof of the World. Ah. And I made another one in Xinjiang called Secrets of the Silk Road. Mm. That film was selected by the uh, Olympic Committee of 208 to be presented to all foreign journalists who visited China ah. in an information package. I see. I was very proud oh, wow. about that. Wow, 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 wow. And that mm -hmm. I followed with um, Land of Legends. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I, I, it was ho Holy Mountain. That mm -hmm. is the story about Wudang Shan. The Wudang Shan? Yeah, okay. The, uh -huh. the place of the Taoists. Of the uh, Taoists yes. with, with Kung Fu, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Then I made another one called the Kung Fu Masters, which was dealing with the Dao uh, with the Dao, with the Dai, Taoism, Taoism, mm. Kung Fu. Yeah, Taoism, Kung Fu. And yes. And then I mm. made a film called Land of Legends about the province of Hubei, mm -hmm. and that was followed by Tibet uh, the Truth, which mm. is uh, with. No, that was followed by. Mm. I'm getting lost now with all the oh titles. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, that's a lot. Anyhow, I made a film about Yangsu, Yangsu, mm. land mm. of good fortune. I made a film about Yangzhou, mm. a city of timeless culture. I see. And then I sort of started to make a political film called mm. Tibet the Truth. Tibet the Truth, because yes. Because in the West, they are totally misinformed about the reality mm. of Tibet. Mm. And Tibet, since about 800 years, mm. over the period of more uh -huh. than 800 years, mm -hmm. has evolved as an integral part okay. of China. Uh -huh. Whether the people uh, like it or don't like it, mm. this is a fact. This and I showed right. it uh, uh -huh. that this... Uh, you lay down the fact. That's it. And mm. then I made, uh, now I made them uh, as a tribute to mm. the uh, World War end of World War II, the 70th anniversary, mm. I made Unit 731. Unit 731. Where I t actually am talking about the conspiracy which existed between Imperial Japan and Nazi Germany mm. to conquer the world and spoil and share the spoils. Then I made another one called uh, War Crimes Under the Rising Sun, mm. which details war crimes which uh, Imperial Japan performed in World War II in China, mm. in Asia, mm. but it also addresses uh, the 
not only against the Chinese, but also against the Americans and Australians and Indonesians, etc., mm. etc. Mm -hmm. And then now I made the Burma Road. Flying Tiger, flying slash tigers, Flying Tiger, yes, which, I know that. Uh, which mm. is, uh, will be premiered soon. Mm -hmm. And then I made uh, In the Footsteps of Genghis Khan. Oh, yeah. Which follows right. the culture of the Mongols. That's a big shot too, yes. Mm. And then uh, I, the most recent film is mm. Um, the world of Liu Yu Yi. Oh yeah, the painter. Liu Yu Yi is a painter. Oh, the national, the nationally painter. renowned, the yes. painter, yes. Um. And a very good f friend of the president Xi Jinping of mm -hmm. the family. Mm -hmm. He also made a number of paintings about the family. I see. Uh huh. And his father, uh, who also uh, suffered under the Cultural Revolution, uh -huh. and was sent. Uh, to the farms, mm. uh, similar to Deng Xiaoping, they mm. were very close together. Uh -huh. And now I'm making a film. I'm going to make a film three uh, in in the works. One is called Cyberspace Freedom. Cyberspace Freedom. Cyberspace Freedom. This is ma this I do for the Cyberspace Administration of this China. Gonna, this is going to be the 18th. Yes. All right, and uh, then? And uh, this is, um, it starts with filming the second World Internet Conference, which is in Wuxian, mm -hmm. in Zhejiang province, uh -huh. in the end of November. I see. Then I make uh, Shanghai Pearl of the Orient, which is going to be... Shanghai Pearl of the Orient. Orient, which mm -hmm. is going to be a history of Shanghai. Mm -hmm. Shanghai dash Pearl, Pearl of, of Orient. the Orient, okay. yes. And then Hainan, a tropical paradise. Ah, in Hainan, a tropical paradise. Yes. Hainan, a tropical paradise. Hyphen, a, a tropical, tropical paradise. paradise. All right. And all after right. that, I'm going into movie production. No, that is, that's exactly 20. That's 20 then. The yeah. 20, right? In other, word, in other words, are you planning on finishing your 20 before you get into fictions? N no, I will, I, will, I will continue to make documentaries, but I'm getting more and more interested in political theme. For example, I would love to make a film about what goes on in the South China Sea. Mm -hmm. Because uh -huh. this is again I a see. case of injustice done to China mm -hmm. because these, um, these islands and rocks, they're really Mm. These, they actually belong to Hainan. There are mm. 200 islands. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> and Interesting, yeah. And they were, you see, in, in, the, mid, in the Middle Kingdom, in mm -hmm. the Ming Dynasty, the Emperor Yongle uh, commissioned uh -huh. the... Yongle, Yongle. Yongle, yeah. Mm. And commissioned Shanghe, mm -hmm. the uh, navigator. All right to have the biggest fleet. At that mm. time, it was the biggest fleet on Earth. The ships were much bigger mm. than, the, than the ships, which later, about less than 100 years later, mm. Vasco da Gama and Columbus Have you had. dealt with any, uh, I mean, any of the film about that, Cheng Ho? I, I mentioned it in my uh, Yang Su film. Are you planning on doing one? This is going to be very, very interesting. Yes, it's very interesting because, mm. you see, they these ships in seven voyages mm. and some of them say that maybe he also discovered south of America. you can even south create America. some kind of fiction right with Zheng he because he's a eunuch right and himself. they went to africa you see and mm. to uh, to arabia and so on all right contrary to uh -huh. the later explorers all right Lo all right my dear friends i'm getting excited already with my friend the chris nibi uh director slash producer and a screenwriter, you're everything. Mm. He has accomplished so far one series called Mysterious China with a 17 masterpiece, 17 masterpieces already. Uh, by that, that's not the end. He's planning on finishing another three to make the whole thing 20 episodes. No, but that goes on. I continue this. Goes series. on. All right. That good. goes All right. on. Uh, All right. Okay. Let's take a short moment now. When we come back. Let's talk about his submission to the Chinese American Film Festival. All right, good.